Today we're talking about spinal hygiene and back care when working from home. It's important to understand the stresses that happen to your spine while sitting at home and the amount of sitting that we tend to be doing nowadays. I think it's important to understand that during the working day we're not always sure how long we're actually sitting for. I tend to recommend taking a break every 40 minutes to an hour when possible or allowing yourself to have opportunities to stand and be away from the chair, grabbing a cup of coffee, walking around, trying to take meetings or calls while standing up. The benefits of taking regular breaks would be to avoid that overall kind of volume of compression during the day, allowing those structures in your low back not to be constantly compressed for long periods, which can aggravate existing problems or even create problems that weren't there. So I think it's important to try and choose exercises that aren't like sitting. If you're sitting all day, then exercises like squatting uh, or cycling or spinning seem to kind of reinforce the sitting position and the stresses that happen on the lumbar spine. I would suggest uh, choosing exercises that are very, very different to what you do during the day, allowing the whole of the, the body, upper limb and lower limb, to move through all of its ranges. I tend to suggest at opportunities when you have a break to have drills or simple mobilisation exercises to try and move your spine or the rest of your body in ways it's not doing during the day. I tend to suggest to people to try and just move their body generally. Whether you're moving your shoulders, your hips or, or your low back, just try and avoid those end of range stretch positions. I think it's important to understand what you're doing to the deeper, delicate structures underneath when that stretch is happening. I tend to uh, um, recommend to people to try and find a simple five to 10 minute set of drills they can do from head to toe that move their body in a way it doesn't during the day. We are, however, not here to tell you the exact cure for back pain, as frankly, that doesn't exist. But here are some options uh, and ways that I have found for some of my patients it can be very, very useful to break up the day and avoid that overload that happens to your spine when you're working from home.